We the knights, baby. No, it cannot be. We go to all this trouble to steal Ray Romano's safe, and there's no diamond inside. There's only this Jesus Bible. It's not a Jesus Bible, it's his diary, see? It's unbelievable! What kind of grown man even keeps a diary? Who be Rob? Ray Romano with the code of freaking fanny. Look, there's time to moan and groan later. Okay, right now we got a serious problem. What's that, Mr. Gherkin? When we stole Ray's safe, we replaced it with an identical one of our own, right? But we had a diamond inside, so when he goes in the safe and sees a diamond and not his diary, he's gonna know he was robbed. So what if he knows? And he's gonna be on the extra special lookout for our next robbery attempt. Wait a minute, you seriously want to keep trying to rob this bastard? You bet I do. This makes me want to do it even worse. But we got to get back in there, get in the safe, and take out the diamond and replace it with this diary before Ray catches on. But Mr. Gherkin, the last time we stole this safe, we had to wait six days for Mr. Romano to even leave his apartment. We had to tear apart a whole wall with a chainsaw and a blowtorch. And we had to stall Raymond for hours while wearing ridiculous costumes. Look, I'm sorry, but we got to do it again. Awesome crime doing, people. It went a lot smoother this time. I barely even got on fire. I got Ray Romano to donate 50 bucks to the United Negro College Fund. Okay, so what now, G? What is it, Mr. Gherkin? I hate to say this now, but, uh... Just relax, out, Chief. Go ahead. What? We screwed up. We should have made copies of that diary before we put it back in the safe. Oh! Think about it. There's got to be a lot of top-secret stuff in that book, huh? Stuff that could help us rob Ray Romano. We need that diary. We gotta go back. Ow! All right, we did it once again, my friends. But just barely. I do not think anyone really believed we were Dexy's Midnight Runners. Doesn't matter. We got what we needed. Now, Lewis, hand out those diary entries, okay? We've got some heavy reading to do. <laughs> Can you believe this nut job? Look at page 37. I hate myself. I want to be torn apart by wolves. How do you get wolves? Do they sell wolves? <laughs> Daddy needs his lithium. Look at page 53. It says what happened to the diamond. He sent it to his wife in California. I'm trying to win her back, huh? Can you imagine being married to that mental case? For that diamond, I will marry Gary. I'd marry Gary Busey. Check it. The dude's addicted to shopping online for camping equipment. Last month, he bought 85 canteen. Listen to this. Raymond started his own company. It's called Romano Corp, page 63. What kind of company is that? He's budgeted a hundred million to make movies written by, directed by, and starring Ray Romano. Two million bucks to start his own restaurant chain. Ray's Chicken Attack. Four hundred dollars for canteen. Whoa, 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 page 72. As of yesterday, there's an entry-level position opening in the Romano Corp film department. <laughs> this is perfect, Lewis. You have to get that job. Why? Why? Can't you see? Raymond's throwing money around like confetti at a rodeo, hundreds of millions of dollars. All right, we get you that job in the Romano Corp. Okay, we can start embezzling the crap out of the place from the inside. Goodbye, blue collar crime, hello, white collar crime. But why me? Because it's in the film department and you're a budding young filmmaker. Mr. Kirkin, I'm hardly qualified to. I mean, I, I'm not ready to put. It, it's more of a fantasy, really. And besides, they would never even grant me an interview. These things are all about who you know. Well, lucky for you. You know me. Who the hell need 85 canteen? All right, here we are. Romana Corp. You get this job, we're gonna be farting through silk. Mr. Kirkin, they're not gonna grant an interview to some guy off the street. Watch. <clears throat> Excuse me, ma'am. Hi, I'm here to inquire about the, uh, entry-level film job on behalf of my young friend here. I'm sorry, we're really not accepting any more applicants. Do you know who I am? Who? I'm, uh, Mikey. That kid from the cereal commercials, remember that? Hey, Mikey, he likes it, hey, Mikey! I can even give you some cool inside scoop. The kid sitting next to me, closest to me at the table when we were doing the commercial, gay as a French horn, do 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 And he was an agent for the Mossad the whole time, the Israeli intelligence agency. Sir. You're not Mikey, and even if you were Mikey, I can't imagine how that could possibly have any impact on the situation. Thank you. Uh, okay, we'll go now. I, okay, I'm sorry, you're right. I'm, I'm not Mikey. It's just this kid has wanted to be a filmmaker his whole life, and I promised him I could get him in here, and if you could just see it in your heart, just let him slide in, have an interview, it would be so nice of you. And, I mean, that Mikey thing might be the most fun you had all day. All right, take a seat over there. Thank you, thank you so much. Gorashanka, what the heck are you doing here? I got an interview too. Said I was George Lucas's nephew. 
I'm Walter Floyd, Ray Romano's business manager. Tell me, why should we hire you? Uh, well, uh, let me start by saying that uh, I love movies. When I was uh, 10 years old, uh, I took my dad's video camera and I made what you might call a short film uh, about a ventriloquist who becomes president and then gets impeached by his own dummy. I was a big film producer in uh, Bollywood. Uh, ever heard of Mujiku Shikinehe? That was mine. But then, here's the, here's the kicker. Then the dummy becomes president and gets impeached by his dummy. My favorite movie? No brainer, Patch Adams. Robin Williams is a doctor who cures people and brings them back from the dead by making them laugh. Pure gold. That's not what the movie is about. All due respect, my friend. Watch it again. Favorite movies? Uh, Casablanca, uh, The Deer Hunter, The Graduate, uh, Citizen Kane. <laughs> the, the usual suspects. <laughs> N not the movie usual suspects. I mean, I, I, I mean the, the the usual movies that people like, <laughs> not usual suspects, which happens to be one of my favorite movies. But I... another favorite, Mannequin, Andrew McCarthy. You know, it's crazy. But at one point, I found myself sitting there thinking, I would really like to nail that mannequin. I mean, that's great filmmaking. Am I right? It's a piece of plastic, and yet. <clears throat> What in God's name is wrong with you? This is a job interview, and you're talking about how you want to have sexual intercourse with a mannequin? I would really love this job. And uh, if you hire me, I, I will work harder for you than anybody else you'll ever hire. Get out of here, you bald-headed jackass! You are also bald. So what if Luis doesn't get this job? He will. I believe in the kid. What about me? Don't count me out. Oh, yeah, right, Geronimo. Usually they hire you right after they scream at you. Oh, wait, here he is. <laughs> the man of the hour himself. Come on, kid, tell us all about it. Uh, I made it through the first round. Uh, way to go, <laughs> kid. Right. Wait a minute, what do you mean first round? Uh, well, he said that um, it's down between me and another guy about my age, and we have to come in tomorrow and do a second interview. Kind of nervous about it. Nonsense. Nothing to be nervous about. We're so close, I can taste it. Once Lewis gets the job at Romana Corp, we've practically got ourselves a license to print money. <laughs> <laughs> can I have a Reuben? Sure. You both told me how creative you are and how much you love movies. Now, take these video cameras and prove it. Come back here in one week with something great. Whoever does best gets the job. It can be anything you want. Three minutes, tops. People my age don't do anything for more than three minutes. Okay, Esperanza's out spying on the competition. As for us, our brains must storm again. We have to come up with uh, movie ideas for Lewis's movie. Lewis, you want to come up and run the meeting? Me? No, no, I, I don't, no, I couldn't. <laughs> Anyone got any uh, ideas? Yes, Teresa Fire except naked and with women. Think about it. They'd be running, topless, on the beach, in slow motion. Hmm. Louis, well, you're kind of in charge here. What do you think? Uh, gee, I don't know. If... What, 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 I mean, you got some ideas for movies, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got a lot of ideas, you know. I've had them in the, in the past. I think right now, um, I'm, you know, in the cold, hard light of day. I don't know if they're really, you know, good enough. Hi. Oh, yes, 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 Everybody, this is Melanie. I met her yesterday in my cab, and I gave her a part in our movie. We don't even have a movie. Are you crazy? We don't come up with ideas. Yep, 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 yep. Melanie is a fantastic actress, and she will do great in whatever part we give her. I work at Hooters. I'm a waitress performer. Huh? Oh, that's yeah? Eugene thinks I'm not good. Why? What's going on? The kids' family's in the movie business, and they have like a whole crew down here. They even have somebody passing out pigs in a blanket. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. No, it gets worse. The star of the movie is Ed Burns from Los Hermanos McMullen. That guy? I have to go. Okay. I'm telling you, she's the next Marcia Gay Harden. Was she in Soul Plane? Why not in Soul Plane? Why is everybody oh God, we're screwed. Lewis, hey. Hey, Mr. Gherkin, you wanted to see me? Yeah, I did. 
Okay. You're blowing it. W what do you mean? There comes a time in a man's life when he has to reach up and grab for the brass ring. Yeah, I, I thought that's what we were doing by robbing, uh, who, who are we robbing right now? Uh, uh, Ray Romano. It is, it is, but your life dream is to be a filmmaker. And right now, you just ain't being one. Look, Lewis, you know everything about making movies. We don't know nothing. Hmm? Now it's time for you to step up like that other kid out there. Although right now he might be experiencing some technical difficulties. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, people, here we go. Lock it up, people. And action. What's this gonna be? You wanna do this the easy way or the hard way? Cut! Cut! Who is that? Take two and action. <laughs> How's it gonna be? You wanna do this easy way or the hard way? I'm cool either way. Oh, come on! Do you need extras? I can act, though. You talking to me? You talking to me? I don't see nobody else here. You must be talking to me. Terrific. Will somebody get him out of here? <laughs> What's it gonna be? You wanna do this easy way or the hard way? I'm cool. Yee oh, Come on, are you kidding me? <clears throat> How you wanna do this? Don't give us no trouble. You don't give us no trouble. Get him, shake him down. Dude. You, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, let me be your right. partner. I wanna be his partner. Here. Can I be a... What are you doing? How do you wanna do this? The easy way or the hard way? Okay, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. How do you wanna do this? The hard way or the easy way? I'm done. I'm done. Right? That's funny. That's not funny. Mr. Gherkin, no. No what? This is not the way I wanna win. Tell Mr. Squatchieri to stop. You, you, you were right. I can do this, but I want to win fair and square. It's just what I wanted to hear. Hmm? Squatch, Eugene, mm -hmm. call the dogs off. <laughs> oh yeah, no need for sabotage. Why? Because we got Lewis William Plunk, filmmaker, that's why. My name's actually Walter, it's a W. All right, wait, wait a second. Okay, this is all well and good, but we still don't even know what the movie's about. That's where you're wrong, Mr. Squatchieri. I wrote the script last night. Wait a second, you came up with this whole story by yourself in one night? Not by myself, Mr. Gherkin, if I had a little help. <laughs> Ray's diary, the answer key. We know exactly what Ray wants. It's like reading a girl's diary before you ask her out. Uh, I've done that several times with superb results. Exactly. Uh, look, guys, Ray specifically talks about the kinds of roles he wants, the kinds of movies he wants to make. Uh, right here, he tried to get cast as the next Batman. <laughs> I want to play a character who's dark and troubled. Why can't I be a romantic lead? I and mean, on and on, it just... Well, guess what, guys? We are gonna give Ray Romano a movie that is like a veritable buffet of his own creative desires, a buffet served to perfection by Mr. Lewis Plunk. <laughs> <laughs> Lady and gentlemen, we're making ourselves a movie! Midnight Justice. Six years. I will always love you, Midnight Justice. And I, you. Okay, now move in for the uh, big kiss, please. Super slow. Slowly. Slower. Slower. Cut! Oh. Oh, we got that. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Louis Plunk, the movie genius! Yeah. 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 Speech, speech, come on, speech, speech. 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 Get up, come on. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I just want to say thank you all uh, so much because uh, if I actually get this job, I'm going to be thrilled beyond belief. Yeah! <laughs> hey, Lewis! Lewis, when you're done with your acceptance speech, go get us some more men and Shepard. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes! 
Good luck in there, bro. Thanks. Home slice. Good morning, Mr. Floyd. In the words of Stanley Kubrick, who we miss every single day, film is like... Just play the thing, damn it. I gotta take a leak. In a world ravaged by evil. Greeting, Mr. Mayor. I am the Swami, and I hate your freedoms. Now you will die from too much electricity. There's one man whose power reigns supreme. Midnight Justice. Not in my house. God. Thanks, kid. No problem. Dad? He has power over everything, except for the woman who owns his heart. You missed Emily's dance recital again. I can't explain. No more excuses. And the addiction that owns his soul. Justice. Chocolate Thunder? This is an intervention, yo. I can quit any time I like! If you won't listen to him, then maybe you'll listen to me. Swami, why would you want to help me? Because you are good, and I am evil. We define each other. I need you, man. This summer... Hi, my name is Midnight Justice, and, uh... I'm an alcoholic. I, 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 I. The most powerful man in the world will learn the true power of love. Should I play it again with the director's commentary? It played well. Um, I, I think it played well. I gotta confess, I'm having concerns about the name Chocolate Thunder. It, just, it sounds like a euphemism for uh, diarrhea. I think it sounds dope. Uh, we're done with the movie now. You can take off the costume. I know. You got nothing to worry about, kid. Your movie was cool as balls. I got a good feeling about this. Is that him? Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, here goes. <clears throat> Hello? Yeah, hi, hi, Mr. Floyd. Oh, okay. Uh, really? Uh, of course, yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, no, no, thank, thank you, Mr. Floyd. Thank. Well? Uh, I didn't get it. Oh, not again! But he said he appreciated my enthusiasm, offered me an internship, making coffee, uh, getting his dry cleaning. Working for free, that sort of thing. Like you do for me? Yeah. Luis, that's fantastic. No, not, not in the film department. No, it's 10 times better. You're gonna be the right-hand man to the dude who runs the entire company. It's white-collar crime time, baby. Yeah. 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 All right. Yes. Let's eat, come on. Here we go. Okay. Ah! Uh, right. Lewis! Hey, Lewis. Hey. I flushed out. I ain't want to. I'm a white colored criminal. You okay, big guy? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm just not cut out to be a filmmaker, that's all. Not cut out to be a filmmaker? Are you kidding me? Look what you put together with, with me and these meatballs as your cast and crew. I mean, that was Oscar worthy. Huh? So what if this uh, hipster with Hollywood connections gets the job? Lewis, here's the deal, okay? The world just doesn't hand stuff to guys like you and me. We gotta take it, we gotta work for it. You just wait and see, huh? Someday I'm gonna have my own bar and you're gonna be the next Rowdy Harrington. Who? Rowdy Harrington, director of Roadhouse. Oh, cool. Thanks, Mr. Gherkin. Hey, I got you something. 
What is that? It's the People's Choice Award. Kind of. Best young filmmaker. I made it out of marzipan. Maximum Prosperity. Blue collar guys with their eyes on the prize. Maximum Prosperity. Walking in the t-shirt side by side. Maximum Prosperity.